Hey, welcome back. I'm so excited to show you my girls' room. It was done sort of on a whim. I was complaining because they were upstairs in a really small room and they were always fighting about not having space and the oldest was like, she's bugging me and she won't leave me alone. And I was like, we need their own room. And Joe was like, get in the car, we're going to Ikea. So we bought a few things from Ikea to transform uh, basically one room into two and I'll show you how we did it on a budget. Here we go. So here's the room. This used to be the toy room downstairs, but it was such a huge space that it made a perfect spot to turn into two rooms for the girls. And we were talking originally about building a wall, but this was such an inexpensive and great alternative. This is just Ikea shelving that we turned sideways and we kind of made it more um, solid by just adding these really inexpensive Ikea bins at the bottom and then the drawers, the doors here. Now the doors are like one on either side because that's just the way they go and each girl gets to share and then we put some pictures and different things in the top. We did do a few tricks to make the room <laughs> seem more like a bedroom and less like a basement. And one of those ways is obviously the windows were off-centered. This window was like smooshed over here and this window was off this way more. So what I wanted to do of course was center the, the bed under the window but that was impossible because I would have to push it right up against there and we couldn't use the closet. So we simply hung the curtain rod over more so we can, so this whole panel is like on the wall and this panel here is actually over the window but we make the window look about a foot bigger than it actually is we did the same but the opposite to this window so they sort of match and give symmetry to the room it's a paris theme obviously <laughs> they go to french school they're really big into paris but i didn't want to spend money on a lot of paris things so this is just a pillow that i found really inexpensively and I ironed on a picture I found on Google Images of Paris. The walls were already this color. I'm really lazy, I didn't want to paint. <laughs> so we went with it by just adding black and white. And it's like, it's idiot proof when you, when you use black and white and one other color. You can't help but have it look nice because you can't mess it up. No matter what you buy, everything's gonna coordinate. So these really inexpensive $9 panels we use those uh, for the windows and then I took one more and I cut them in half to give just a pop of color here under her bed. She calls this, we took the bottom bunk off and we made it a loft for her. She calls this her secret library, her secret bookstore and <laughs> for my oldest. So we just painted this with chalkboard tape and in French it says Izzy's secret bookshop. Um, she loves that and then with the extra piece of material from the curtain I just draped it over the end of Abby's bed to tie it kind of all in. So here's Isabel's room, Isabel's room she calls it, my oldest side. She has a little desk for homework there, just a few little hints of Paris, their hair accessories and clothes over there of course the curtains and some pictures these were really inexpensive and I just hung these up using 3m velcro tape that way because I like my pictures are always wonky so that way they were like I was able to adjust them 50 gazillion times until they were all straight so I love 3m velcro picture hanging kit to be able to do stuff like that I'll just give you this a bookshelf they fought over who was going to get the dress-up mirror, <laughs> so we actually left it in the middle of the room. That way they both share it. And Abby's little table here. I really wanted to buy a chandelier lamp, but they were really expensive. So we transformed an old chandelier, and I'll show you how in another video, into this really cool wall sconce for her. So all in all, this room was super inexpensive. We just printed off pictures with frames I already had of Paris from Google Images. This was awesome because we found one actually on Google Images, the colors of our room, and a few more here. In picture frames we already had, these great letters from Michaels hung with just 3M hooks, some $9 curtain panels, and of course the big expense was the divider that we used for the middle of the room. But that's it, that's Izzy and Abby's shared room. I really love it. They love it so, so much. And it really doesn't feel like a basement room. It feels like um, a beautiful room for girls to share. If you have any questions, please let me know. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> That's your tip, and I'll see you next time.